We are almost at the end of our 10 questions on intersection or linear systems. Question number 8. I hope you are enjoying and learning from this series. Question number 8 is, write the number of points at which the following set of lines will intersect. So we got three set of lines, correct? Here is the first set of line, this is the next set of line, and this is the third set of line. You need to analyze these and figure out how many points they will intersect. Don't really solve it, right? So no need to solve them, but you have to reason, provide a reason why they will intersect at one point, at no point, or at all the points, right? As you know, in a linear system, we could have one solution, we could have less, less, we can have one solution, or we could have no solution when the lines are parallel, or we could have infinite solutions when they are overlapping, correct? So this is what you need to analyze to answer this question. So the first part is y equals to 2x minus 3 and 2x plus y equals to 3. Second is y equals to minus 2x plus 3 and 4x plus 2y equals to 3. And the third part of this is 3x plus 2y equals to 1 and 6x plus 2y equals to 2. So I'll recommend that you do your calculations, figure it out, and then write down your answer. After that, look into my suggestions. This is how I would like to do it. The very first one is y equals to 2x minus 3, and we have 2x plus y equals to 3. Better to write this line in the form of slope intercept. So we can isolate y, and we can say, well, this can be written as, we'll take 2x on the other side and say y equals to minus 2x plus 3. So as soon as I write this equation in this form, I know that the slope is minus 2 for this line and the slope is plus 2 for this line. Since the slopes are different, since the slopes are different, they will intersect at one point, right? So we get one point here. Now the next one. We know the slope of the first line is minus 2. Let's figure out how about this line. So we'll rearrange. So write 2y equals to minus 4x plus 3. And then we'll divide by 2 and get y equals to minus 2x plus 3 over 2, right? So we divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 gave us 2. There was minus sign here, which we retained. And 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Now if I analyze these two lines, they have same slope, right? So slope m1 is equal to the slope of the second line. So that means they could be either parallel or overlapping. How will you check that now? Then check the y-intercepts. They are different. So b1 is not equal to b2. So they are parallel lines, correct? Their y-intercepts are different. Therefore, number of points is none. They are parallel lines. We denote parallel lines like this, parallel lines, correct? Now let's look into the last question. Now here, I have given you both the equations. None of them is in slope-intercept form. So what you can do is, you can convert to slope-intercept form also and solve. But if you closely look into it, don't you see that this equation is kind of related? Okay, let's multiply everything here by 2 and see what do we get. We get 6x plus 4y equals to 2, which is same as the given equation. 6x plus 4, no, it's different. So that is a difference, correct? It is not the same. So if the two equations are not the same, correct, then this scenario is not there, correct? And here we can find the slope. Slope in this case is different from this line and therefore there will be one point of intersection. So we have one point of intersection in this case. So 2y and 4y were not different, were different and therefore these two lines are not exactly same. 
So we say that these, this set of lines will give us one point of intersection, right? So to confirm it, you should find the slope of both the lines, correct? So slope of the first line reorganizing will give you y equals 2. We'll take this here, so minus 6 over 4x plus 2 over 4, correct? And for the second line, so we can write the slope in simplified form as m equals to minus 3 over 2, right? And for this line, y is equal to minus 6x divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2, right? So the slope here is, that is m2, is minus 3, right? So this is minus 3 and this is minus 3 by 2. The slopes are different and therefore the lines will intersect at one point. Correct? So that is how we can solve these questions. I hope you learned a lot from here and few more questions to go to complete our set of 10 on linear systems. Thanks and all the best.